Well, the only one that I feel qualified to speculate about um, is the academic impact and uh, the sort of tele-academics that we're going to be having as, a, uh, as an option. Uh, and uh, there are positive and negative aspects, but the positive aspects, <clears throat> you and I have a good friend, Lee Ross, who's been teaching his uh, undergraduate course uh, uh, by the internet, by Zoom, um, and uh, he says he'll, he would never go back to doing it. And there are very interesting uh, things that happen. For one thing, if you've got a class of 75 people, which he's got, college class of 75, the same two people raise their hands all the time. If you have got you know, everybody lined up and, and they say they raise their, they can raise their hand without actually moving their hand. They just push a button <coughs> uh, and he can decide who to call on. So mix it up a bit. It isn't just the same two people with the shortest latency. Uh, then, um, so there, there are clearly some higher education people are going to see advantages. Uh, to that, and it'll be inclined to use it, I'm sure, for lots of circumstances. Um, then at the elementary level, and probably also at secondary level as well, but certainly at the elementary level, some children are saying now, God, I like this uh, Zoom education so much better than uh, being in class. You don't have to, there's not the chaos that you have in class, there's not the jerks dipping your pigtails in inkwells, <laughs> the sort of thing that uh, hooligans did back in the old days. Uh, so uh, some, at least for some kids, for some kinds of education, uh, it's going to be a plus. I think the wise thing to do is to get very serious about finding out what kinds of courses are and what are taught to what kinds of people uh, to the best effect. I mean, it's a huge amount of research needs to be done. I mean, uh, rather than people just saying, you know, automatically doing internet uh, communication or automatically doing uh, uh, classroom education, uh, let's have some idea what kind of subjects and what kind of people it makes sense for. It's an internet education. Um, and um, it's going to be, I mean, there is something that goes on in a real classroom that's superior, I mean, uh, to what you can get on Zoom. I mean, it's an immediacy, um, a clear reading of body language and facial expressions and so on that gets lost. Um, and uh, so uh, I worry that uh, people will be using the internet education uh, automatically without seriously thinking about it, which would be uh, a, a big problem. So the thing I most fear is that people will, if they have the op option to get their their uh, higher degree, their BA, be uh, on online uh, for a very low price, that you know, many people will take it who should not. Certainly, if there's no way for you to get a really super college education, uh, except uh, through uh, uh, online means, uh, that's one thing. But if you are the sort of person who could afford to pay for college education or who could expect to get a scholarship for college education, then it's a huge loss not, not to do that. I, one of my, as you know, I study intelligence, which makes me interested in education because I think you can teach people to be more intelligent. And it's a hypothesis <clears throat> that um, 
it's your fellow students who are as important uh, as education, at any rate, who are extremely important. They're doing things. They can tell you what, what you said that's stupid. <laughs> and you can think of, oh, why is that stupid? And generalize from there. They can model uh, intel intelligent thinking in all kinds of domains. Uh, <coughs> so uh, a $1,200 online Stanford education is not going to give you anything like what the real thing can give you. You just need to do the research and find out um, what kinds of teachers, what kinds of topics, what kinds of students are best done online. To me, the most important thing is, what can I do that's safe? Uh, and uh, unfortunately, <coughs> I don't know what things are like in Canada, but our public health people have been all over the map. I mean, I mean public health officials have said things that when they said them, I knew they were wrong. In most cases, they've come back and said, oh, well, I'm so sorry about that. Actually, masks are a good thing. So sorry, so sorry. <coughs> Six weeks of public health telling us that masks can do no good. 